Are you bored with how your iPhone looks every time you unlock it? With iOS 26, Apple finally gives you brand new home screen customization tools so you can make your iPhone look and work exactly the way you want. In this guide, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to customize your icons, themes, widgets, wallpapers, and even entire pages with some real life examples along the way. Let's get started. First, go to your home screen. Touch and hold on an empty space until the app icons start to jiggle. Tap edit in the upper left corner, then choose customize from the menu. This will open the customization menu at the bottom of your screen. Let's walk through what you can do here. At the top left, you'll see the sun icon. Tap this to make your home screen darker or lighter. Think of it this way. Lighter themes are great during the day for visibility, while darker ones save your eyes at night. On the opposite side, tap the two square icon to switch between big and small app icons. Smaller icons give you labels underneath, which is useful if you have lots of apps and want names displayed. Larger icons remove the labels for a cleaner, minimalist look. Perfect if you love simplicity. Next are the themes. By default, your icons look normal. But if you tap dark, all icons instantly turn dark. You can set this to automatically change with system dark mode or keep it locked as always dark. Want something more unique? Try clear icons. This makes your icons transparent, blending with your wallpaper. For example, if you're using a scenic photo as your wallpaper, clear icons let the background stand out more. And then there's tinted, one of the most fun options. This allows you to add a color overlay to your icons. For instance, you could set all your icons to a red tint for a bold gaming setup or a calming blue tint for a productivity layout. If you want the color to match your wallpaper perfectly, use the dropper tool. Just drag it over the area of your wallpaper you like and your icons will instantly adopt that shade. Now, customizing doesn't stop at icons. You can also add widgets for quick access. To do this, press and hold again, tap edit, then choose add widget. You can add widgets for your calendar, music, or weather. For example, imagine creating a home screen just for productivity. Place a calendar widget, a reminders widget, and even a battery widget all on one page. Don't forget to tap done to apply your widgets. Next up, wallpapers. Tap edit wallpaper and you'll see options for solid colors, gradients, or photos. Want a clean aesthetic? Pick a plain color background. Want personality? Use one of your favorite photos. Make necessary adjustments to the selected photo, like pinch to resize or set appearance or use depth effect. Once you're satisfied, tap done. And if you want your icons to stand out more, turn on blur. This makes the wallpaper softer so your icons pop. Again, tap done to save and apply new changes. Finally, you can edit pages. From the edit menu, tap edit pages. This lets you decide which apps appear on each page. For example, you can set up a dedicated home screen page just for work apps like email and Slack, another page for games, and another for entertainment. This makes your iPhone super organized. Tap done when you're satisfied with the final output. And the best part? Every single change you make applies instantly. You'll see your iPhone transform right in front of you. So to recap, you can adjust brightness and icon size, pick between themes like dark, clear, or tinted, match icons to your wallpaper, add widgets for function, change wallpapers for style, and organize apps across multiple pages. With these new tools in iOS 26, your iPhone home screen can finally reflect your personality and lifestyle. And that's it. If this video helps you create a home screen you'll love, give it a like and watch my other iOS 26 tutorials to unlock even more customization tips. Thanks for watching.